Okay, so the first step I'm going to do with this wine barrel, we'll call a nest box, is figure how I'm going to cut the door. If the birds are going to be able to climb in and out. And I'm thinking, well, the bunghole is going to get cut. This is where the, this is where the door is going to be. And I'm thinking somewhere where the tape is, I don't know, I'll, maybe I'll change the design, but this is where I'm going to cut it. I still have to design a hole or an access door on the end here that I could get inside and take care of the eggs or check on them or check the babies when they get babies. But this, this actually, this particular wine barrel is going to go in a big cage that I don't really plan on having breeders in it. It'll be a bunch of my macaws that are singles and they're friends and maybe they'll want to explore and hey if they start using it I'm going to take them out and give them their own cage with their own wine barrel. Got the door cut in. Right now it's five and a half inches wide and seven inches tall. I'm going to make it a little wider because they have big wings. Probably about a half inch extra. And the height is just fine I think. And I have all these screws going around here. There's almost 200. Alright, and the whole point and the purpose of these screws in the first place is when you screw it all together, if I do take it apart and have all the screws in there, after I take it apart and reassemble it again, everything should line up precisely the way it was originally before you take it apart because every hole should line up and all the metal, if it's all right, it should go right back together. Benjamin. So now I'm debating whether I should actually take this thing apart and put it inside the cage or should I just get a bigger door. So this wine barrel is going to go in this cage. I'll call it a cage, call it a flight, call it an Avery, call it an aviary. This is where I'm going to put it back here. I think I'm going to put it center with this roof up here. Or I might mount it up here. Here's a little opening that I have. This is 18 inches wide. So it's not very big. I've got a friend coming to visit us already. Hey little birdie. Hey baby. Hey baby. Oh, hello. He attacked this camera not too long ago. Come up here. Come up here. Alright. You're gonna fly and I'm gonna move. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna put it up here, I think. I could always put it up here where George is. Hi George. Hi George. On this little entry door. It's pretty strong, but So I'm thinking I'm going to put the wine barrel underneath this roof up here. Oh, get off the camera, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on, get up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it underneath this roof, center it up. It will help protect it from the rain. Or I could put it up here. I could always add another door over here. I was kind of thinking about it. I don't have time to do that right now. I probably actually should. It's gonna take quite a bit of time to try to break this barrel down, but yeah, it's all good. Back to the barrel. I go. Here's the door that I'm gonna cut in. Um, this is just a an idea right now, sketch I guess. That being that this is flat right here, I'm gonna be able to put the hinge on it, and this will be the opening. This will be the door, and this right here will be the opening, so it'll evenly wrap by like an inch or two. I'll have a handle, I'll just open. So that's pretty cool. This is pretty cool too. This hole, here's the bung hole. Kind of looks dirty. See inside, man these things fit so tight. They actually interlock with each other. The, this is the exact cutout. So they line up so good right here. Do I really want to take it apart as tight as it is? I don't really think so. So now I'm thinking, well, maybe it's just better if I just get a door, figure that out. Let's take a look inside here. What exactly is it? So, 
see here's an example of a standing up. Oh, I really like that. That's cool. Well, at least if anything, the birds will be with some kind of a style. They'll have a style of their own. Kind of makes me think of pirates. So the next step is going to be is this door, cutting this thing out, getting the design going. I have a piece of corian that I was thinking maybe I could use for the door. So I'm going to look it up tonight and do a Google search and see if it's okay if this corian is safe for the birds, if it'll harm them. If not, I might try to incorporate that with the door somehow. Okay, here's one of the rooms right here. This is Cisco. Alright, the people that I got Cisco from, they were trying to get rid of him because he was mean to him. I guess the guy's brother had him Jesus and man. he passed away and they were looking to get to give him to a forever home. Well, he's a Catalina Macaw and yeah, like I said, when I first That's got him, he was tight. very mean. But he's the sweetest bird I've ever had in my entire life. I will never get rid of him. Where's this going to step up? Come on. Come on. Uh oh, you like that or something? Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Cut the door cut out. Now it's six and a half by seven. The next video is gonna have me, I'll show you that I'm gonna take this nest box apart piece by piece. And I'm gonna take it to the big bird cage that fight and I'm gonna reassemble it. It's gonna kinda be a lot of work, but it's something that has to happen. I'm not gonna buy a door or make a door for that big flight that you saw earlier. I would love to, I would really love to make a door. I don't have a welder right now, or just yet. I haven't got one yet. But as soon as I do get one, I'll build some big doors, three foot by three foot, so I can slip these in and out of all the flights. But for this big one, this big flight, it's going to be easy enough to just to strip this bird, this nest box apart and put it back together. And I'm thinking now that I'm going to have it, instead of having it sideways like you see here, I'm going to have it um, sitting upright, and I'm probably going to put it on that shelf above where the two doors where you walk in. So stay tuned for that.